Hey there fans, it's Doing Stuff with TNA. I'm Travis and today we're back to working on this gym. So what are we doing? We are going to show you how we make these plastic washers. We're also going to make this new cable for the pull down bar and we're going to figure out how it goes and how it's fished through here. So sit back, relax, grab a beer. We are back to working on the weight set and if you remember I needed to make some bushings so I've got this piece of HDPE which is high density polyethylene got off Amazon for 10 bucks it's a quarter inch thick I need closer to an eighth inch so this I simply ran through my table saw standing vertically and in order to shave it down was a quarter inch thick so point from 0.25 to 0.15 not quite half but you see all the grooves from the saw blades so I've got this piece of uh, I think it's 80 or maybe 100 grit sandpaper and I'm reusing it because it was a piece of belt paper where it came undone so I just cut it in half mounted it to my sanding block and we're gonna sand this out and get the uh, get it smoothed down doesn't need to be perfect we'll keep doing this till we get most of this out so I've got it shaved down a bit we've still got a little bit of an edge here the biggest problem though is even though I've been trying to keep force even we're clearly having taking more off this edge here versus here i've actually been trying to sand holding the sandpaper like this to get more over on this edge as it was worse than this so i'm going to go ahead and cut this off and try to sand some more on this side but we'll keep at it our center is 0.141 edges get up to about a little over 15 16 so i got a bit of sanding to do trying to get this edge flat first then I'll work on the other side. That's good enough for me. This is just the bushing. It doesn't need to be perfect. So I'm gonna go ahead and uh, sand this a little bit more. Just, it's kind of rough right now with this grit sandpaper. I'm gonna go to a, probably a 200 grit or so, smooth it out a little bit. I'm not gonna get it glossy like this side, but just not rough like this. This is another piece of belt sandpaper that had ripped. Stapled it to the edge of a one by that was glued to a two by. It just happened to be that way. But it makes it great for holding when you're standing with the block. This will work nicely. So now I just need to make four of these. Actually, I'm gonna make two of these before I make it two more because it's a whole lot easier to thin it out with it being attached to a long piece and if I have to thin the other two any then I don't want to cut them out yet. So I'm going to go ahead and draw lines, get two of these cut using the table saw and actually I might just use the jigsaw. I want to make it round so I'm going to use the jigsaw and I think I got a drill bit that'll fit there if not maybe a step bit. But I'm going to cut straight edges first so that I can make those holes I think just to make life easier. This inner diameter hole is just a little more than a half and my step bits go from a half to nine sixteenths and my largest drill bit is a half so we'll try a half and we'll re-drill it if the half isn't good enough it's the first one go ahead and drill those holes i think i'm going to try out my my new drill press and here we go we're gonna cut this sucker up i've got a 32 tpi metal cutting bit in there so i get a nice smooth cut on the plastic we're just gonna zip de doo dah this thing off and let's get this party started that's really loud so this is my drill press. I picked it up pretty inexpensive, pretty happy with it so far. I have yet to use it, but uh, it is a rigid DP15501 and the chuck, it's got pretty good run out. So I'm fairly happy with it. Try, we're gonna see how this thing works. Plug it in. There's the chuck for it. Harbor Freight step bit in it. Let's turn her on. Pretty close to center.
All right, those are done. Now we just have to cut them out. It was a lot easier holding this without cutting them separate. So yeah, definitely gonna do that next time too. Okay, those are mostly round. We will try to mount them in something and see if we can get them better. All right, so I have this X socket that fit closely and I simply wrapped it in a little tape to tighten it up. So, I mean, it, it really fits quite well. So we're just gonna tape them on like that. We're gonna mount them in the drill and spin it with a little bit of sandpaper to get a nice smooth, just by stretch. I'll do the same on the other side, just give it a little more friction. We don't need a lot, just enough to keep it from spinning freely. It don't need to be perfect. What I do with the originals? I think this is probably close enough. All right, there's an original. It's a little bit smaller, so I can keep going if I like. I'll just leave that on there. I think that's good enough. I'm gonna take these. I'll smooth that out by hand to touch. All right, so here's where these things go. And I'm just gonna see if two will fit between. And it looks like they will place without making the camera fall. Yeah, check that out. That's perfect. Man, it's like I planned it. Well, that worked so well, we're just gonna finish this up and, and build the other two right off the bat. There's the other two. Get this thing going. Table's gonna be replaced, the bushings are replaced. So now I have a bit of cable. I'm gonna try to hook this thing up. So this cable is still in okay shape. I'm not gonna do anything with it for now. I'm just gonna use it. It does have some fraying right here. I gotta figure out how that cable runs. I think it goes through, up, and back down maybe. I'm not sure. So according to the instructions, it goes through these pulleys, then up through the double pulley piece, and back down, and then hooks and that's the chain piece there. So I'm gonna try to run that. Yeah. 
through whatever those things are called, the chain which then hooks to this pulley. This pulley is hanging right here. Vibrators hooked up. And now that hooks to here. If I've got this all right, I think I do. So I believe the part that's damaged is the part that goes, well, this part's fine. This comes down to this pulley, which is this. This is fine, no problems there. Now this part is also fine with a little bit of fray, but otherwise fine. So the piece that's damaged is what goes from here, up, under here, up here, and then where? That's not clear. Let's see if the next page, nope, next page has nothing. We can figure it out for many of these pictures. All right, do we see what we need? There we go. So this goes through that, over. Yeah, I really can't tell from there. I do know it comes across here and down to this, but it's all these pulleys here that's got me confused. Maybe it goes here and then crosses this. All right, so I think I've figured out how the cable goes. So what I'm gonna do is start with just setting up my new cable. This cable uses these kind of pieces to make a loop at the end. These clamps hold it and this provides a loop. So I'll show you how to do these if you've never done one of these before. They're pretty simple. It does take a little bit of hand strength to hold this loop like this. So you'll wanna get these undone, at least one of them. And I have one right here. They're not hard, they're just a little bit awkward if you don't have anybody helping you. So you're just basically pinching the wire together. Now, this cable actually gains strength by twists. So every time you can twist it and put another one of those in, it'll have more holding strength. So if you wanna make it hold more, just do this number, you get a lot more holding strength. Now the thing with pulleys though is doing that's going to use up some of your length of how far you can pull the weights up. So I'm not going to make it too awful long. I'm going to start and just get this thing kind of situated. Make life a little bit easier and just get these started. So you can do this like this. So uh, if, you, if you're not trying to do anything, so we're just going to that through there and then we can put the loop in and then we pull it tight and then we tighten these and no big deal much easier cleaner faster all that sort of stuff and that'll it's easy enough to do and I'll get my impact gun on that I'm going to put a second one of those clamps there. Of course, I'm always, always dropping things, so nothing new. So the only negative about this versus the other loops that came in the factory is that these, which are just clamped on the ends, the pneumatic press of some sort fit through the pulleys just fine that's not gonna so this you're gonna have to make sure the cables routed properly first on this end I'm just attaching it to the weights and so I'll run the other end through wherever I think it needs to go I do know the very first thing it goes is through this pulley because it's got to pull the weights straight up and this is the only pulley that can do that so that's pretty obvious There we go, first part of that. This cable is rated for 300 pounds too, so that stack at 200 pounds is no problem. Next, this cable goes through that set of pulleys down there. I suspect it goes towards my right because it needs to go through that pulley right there at some point. So I'm sort of guessing here, but I think that comes up over the top of this pulley, through here, around this pulley, around the back side of this pulley, or no, maybe it goes to this pulley, then up to here, around this one, up to here, around this one, and out here. That makes more sense. Again, not sure. 
So I'm not 100% sure, but from what I can tell there, it looks like the cable comes straight through there to this pulley on there. And then I know it comes from here straight back to that pulley. So the only thing it can do, it must weave through the pulleys. So that's how I'm gonna try it, see if that works. Actually, I can see the wire on the top of this pulley and on the bottom of that pulley. So it's going around this one, out to here, back into there, back out to here, then down through there. So yeah, it's weaving through the pulleys. Why don't the instructions tell you this? I don't know. All right, so this is how it goes. From the weights, up, around the top pulley, and down, through this pulley, and around to this one, and through here, and then it weaves, and weaves, and weaves, and comes out here. At least that's what I can tell. So I think I'm gonna give this a try. I'm gonna just tie that off and see how it works when pulling this out. Cause there's not much travel here and that could be an issue, but it may not be any issue at all. So I wanna just see. So I just looped the wire around itself. We only have 10 pounds on it right now. So let's see how it works when I pull this out. And I believe the pulleys are actually doubling the weight because that does not feel like 10 pounds, but I'm not sure, but it seems like it is. No? If you look how far I push this out versus how high that moves, it's about the same distance. So if there was a multiplier, the weight would move slower or faster. So there's no multiplier there. So right here is where I'm at. So I pulled it about a foot and that's about a foot. So we got about the same amount of distance up as we do out. So this looks like the perfect amount of cable. Does not look like this is gonna be an issue at all. So I'm probably gonna lengthen that a little bit. I'm gonna test a few more things first, like this. Uh, yeah, that does become an issue when I get there. So no, I won't lengthen that any. But yeah, this will be done here shortly. Because all I have to do now is put a loop on this side. Uh, the second loop I've got, cut the cable short and I'm done. All right, so now I've got these all clamped on. I've got them nice and tight. Only a little bit of slack there. You can see it just pulling the cable a little taut before it starts lifting the, and that's exactly how I wanted it. So I'm gonna do a little bit of testing. Let's tighten these up. Nice and tight. Now I'm just going to test everything a little bit before I cut that cable because that'll be the final. Other than that, this weight set is all set up. Got the pin right here. Stick it down on 160 pounds and give her a go. Well, that's pretty light for me. We got that all the way down at 200. I'm not liking is there's a lot of play in this but I think I can fix that here I think that's what this chain is actually for so you can fix the play this chain a couple lengths down all right now that's taut better that is much better much better workout I can feel it pulling all the way And if you want, you could do one arm. That's better. So let's try the bench press side of things. That, that's better. I think the butterfly is losing some weight due to pulley engagement. Let me try 100 here. I couldn't have any trouble with 100. Although this is pulled way back, so that does make it more difficult. Oh yeah, no problems. That works pretty well. Go ahead and cut that cable off, call it a day. So this is a steel cable. It's gonna be a little bit of difficulty getting it cut. 
I highly doubt I'm going to be able to cut this. It's a steel cable, so I'll probably have to do it in little cuts. Yeah, steel cables just don't cut like that. I'm going to pinch a little bit at a time. Just kind of work at it. There we go. Well, the camera fell, but it did not break, so we're still good. We've got this cut nicely. We have pulleys set up. We have new bearings in every one of these pulleys. We have a new cable on this side. We have new bushings and welded up piece that was breaking. I'm pretty happy with all this. This will be a nice addition to the weight set. I've got one more thing for the weight sets I've got to do. This table, or uh, this, this bench press here, if I put 135 pounds on the bar, which is light, it tries to fall backwards. So I'm gonna extend those feet about a foot with some angle iron just to prevent it. And I'll extend them out this way a foot and then I'm gonna anchor them to the front foot. So it'll just kind of be angled out like this and then it'll turn, come straight out this way, go that, turn that way, go straight to there and then angle back to that just to make sure that it's solid and that it won't flip up on me because I've got enough weight to put over 315 pounds on this thing and that was 315 was my prior max. I want to get back up there. It's going to be a bit of work. That was only about two years ago so I can make it back there. We'll take you along for that part and that fixing up another video. I'm pretty happy with our setup for now. And as Amy would say, another project done. <laughs>